when I was doing rest poles or cluster sets, I always found myself wanting just a touch more, right? But I really maxed out the max load if you do the rest poles or cluster set properly. So what I want to think about here is I'm going to deem these Chris Paul sets. If, I'm, if someone else already does this, please message me and comment below and you can tell me what they're called. But for now, and unless someone tells me different, these are Chris Paul sets. So what I'm gonna do is I have seven plates on this leg press. I'm gonna do three mini sets, just short of failure, with 20 second rest periods. Then I'm gonna pull these three plates off of here, so reduce the load down to just four plates, and my goal is to try to go 20 reps with four plates aside. From there, I'm gonna jump up, I'm gonna pull the plate off, and leave three on each side, and I'm gonna do an ISO hold. And if you notice, today on this leg press, what I'm gonna do for the ISO hold is I'm gonna find the mid-range where my quads are maximally contracted, and my goal is to try to hold it for a minute. So if you look, it's gonna be a traditional rest pause with seven plates, then strip the weight, do 20 reps to really blow them out and pump them, and then lastly, an ISO hold to extremely fatigue the quads here on this exercise. So take a look, Chris Paul sets. There you go. So if you notice those first three were just short of failure, meaning leaving one to two reps in the tank. I could have probably gutted out 15 on that first round, but that's not the goal of that rest pause on how I'm doing it here. So I wanna leave a couple reps in the tank, 
Then once I get to that strip, I just want to pump like a piston. Roll through all 20, and then my goal was to hit a minute ISO hold. I only made it to 35 seconds. So I racked it, counted to 20, and then finished the last 25, just because my OTD brain wouldn't let me quit. I set out to do a minute, I was gonna get a fucking minute. So try this. There's many ways we can do it. You can actually hold it in the contraction point. Let's say you're doing a back row. Contraction portion can be your ISO hold. If it's a stretch, you can hang from a weighted pull-up bar and do the ISO hold there in the stretch position. So there's lots of ways you can tinker around with this, and I'll show you some more examples in the future. But give these a try. Again, Chris Paul sets. They are hell, they feel great. My quads are blown up and I think you'll love them. Thanks for following along guys. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe. And I'd love it if you tag me in some of these sets and hashtag Chris Pulse. Thanks guys.